Hello, everybody. Hey, Cole, how's it going, man? I just realized, I was just, as I was sitting down to do all this stuff, I realized I totally mailed out your your box to you and didn't tell you how much it was. <laughs> so hopefully you get it soon. And then we can worry about the, uh, the cost of the box and the shipping. Hey, Bob, how's it going? Just doing a quick little stream here for one of my patrons, Mr. Matthew. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yes, listen, there's there's no worries. You just got it today? Awesome, man. Everything was there and it came, it, it got uh, it got there okay? Like every, nothing was damaged, I hope. I hope you don't mind that I shipped it to you in that in that bundle box because I figured that was the quickest easiest way to ship it without damaging it and uh, I just sort of put in tokens and stuff to like sort of space the box so the cards wouldn't bounce around too much in shipping I hope it didn't get damaged You love how the 5th edition Spirit Link is YouTube's gaming logo for Magic? Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> you opened it up and got lands in the face? Alright, good, yes. Yeah, because so what I did is I just took like a bunch of the lands and the tokens that had come out of your box, and I just put them on top and then closed the bundle down so that they wouldn't... Because uh, there's a fair amount of space between the top and the bottom of the bundle, right? The bundle boxes. Um, so the cards can definitely shift and bang around, right? So I put those in there to try and stop that from happening too much. I probably could have figured a better way of doing it, but, I mean, this is the first time I've ever shipped an entire box. <laughs> so, there you go. Let's get this thing off the screen. So, do, so Excel, uh, do you prefer... Like, are you actually like that it's that or are you being like are, are, are you being uh, like sarcastic about it like I'm just curious Fortnite Fortnite how's it going uh, we're just waiting for Matthew Nielsen to show up because Matthew Nielsen is one of my bundle patrons and he's getting one of these which I haven't even opened for myself yet on the channel so I haven't even opened my own bundle yet I'm gonna open his first I just opened the case, and uh, well, what do you think it should be instead? What do you think it should be instead? Also, hey, Kevin, how's it going? So we're going to open this guy up. We also have, um, I got this today. Which is not really um, Wizards product, um, but it is Magic the Gathering, and this is a sealed box. So we'll open up some of that stuff later. Am I doing a giveaway soon? I'm not sure, Fortnite. I'm not sure. Just, just wondering so you could be ready. I need to be ready. Generally speaking, when I do giveaways and stuff um, uh, on the channel, it'll be, you know, uh, leave a comment on one of my videos because it just makes it easier for me to pick a winner then because then I can use one of the random comment picker generators to pick a winner. Um, and generally speaking, I, I won't talk about the giveaways outside of the videos. And... and it's not it's not because I don't like having multiple people in the giveaways or anything like that. I just like you know, I like giving back to the people who are actually watching the content. That's the thing, right? So if you're watching all my videos, you'll you'll find out when I'm doing a giveaway, most likely, because I'll mention it in one of my videos just offhandedly, right? Or I'll mention it in a video where I'm like, hey, leave a comment in this video 
right? And then you'll be entered it for X giveaway, right? Um, and that way, the people who are actually watching the videos get to enter, right? So, yeah, Kevin, exactly. So, like, these tokens things, like, I, I looked everywhere online f to buy them in Canada, and I couldn't find them anywhere in Canada. I could not find them um, for sale online in Canada. Um, so everywhere that I could order from was like in the United States and that would cost me an arm and a leg to ship it across the border into Canada essentially. Um, and I was like, well, this is dumb, right? I don't want that. So I happened to be in my LGS for, uh, the pre-release and some guy was like, oh, I'll take the, give me some of those relic tokens. And I was like, oh shit, do they have relic tokens? And I hadn't even seen them. I didn't even know they were on the shelf. Um, and there they were on the shelf and he bought the last three and I was like, oh, you guys have those. He's like, well, not anymore. You know, I, I don't have any more now. I sold the last three. And I was like, no, no, but can you get more? And he was like, yeah, I could order another box. I'm probably going to order another box for the store. And I was like, can you order a box for me? And I'll buy the whole box from you. And he was like, oh, absolutely. Sure. And I was like, sweet. So he did. So he ordered me a, a box and I bought it from him. That's cool, Kevin. I mean, for, for me anyway, I haven't found them anywhere. But then again, I haven't been to many stores lately. Um... And I haven't been, I don't really look for Wizards of the Coast magic product anywhere other than here. Oh, you want it to be like the back of the card. Sorry, I missed your comment. Um, you want it to be like the back of the card. Or they could use like the Planeswalker logo, right? Like that is fairly uh, centric to magic these days. Rather than using, like like you said, the Spirit Link card from 5th edition. I wonder who. I wonder who picked it. That's a good question, Accelerate. I don't know. Hey, Costa, how's it going? And Carl, how's it going, man? Uh, you uh, didn't get back to me on Patreon, but I asked you what kind of bundle you wanted. Um, if you want a Dominaria bundle, I can open yours up for you right now, too, if you want, because I have them. If you don't want Dominaria, then you got to tell me what kind of bundle you want. I have Ixalan, Rivals of Ixalan, in stock at the moment that I could open. Oh, and a Fate Reforged bundle. Um, I don't have any other bundles at the moment, but I can get some. You do want Dominaria. Okay, well, I'll open it today for you then, during this stream. So, um, I don't know where Matthew is. I know he's on a tight schedule. Um, we can also show off something else if you guys want. This is something else that I've got, that I just got in the mail, and I'm pretty stoked about it. Maybe it's lame, maybe it's not, but I enjoy it. There it is. There it is. That's right. You too could have your very own Mr. Bever's YouTube pen to keep track of your life totals at your Magic the Gathering events. I had those printed. My wife was like, you should get pens. And I was like, "I yeah, maybe I should. Maybe I should get pens. So, um... My plan is is to start giving these out to patrons um, in addition to their current rewards, um, but only at milestones. So um, essentially, I think I'm going to get I'm gonna give these out to any patron who's been with me on Patreon for three or more months. and then every additional three months that they join, they'll get another pen. Like, so for essentially every three months you're with me on Patreon, you'll get a new pen. And and I feel like that's enough time for the pen to maybe run out and then you get another one, that kind of thing. So uh, that's probably what I'll end up doing. Um, I'll, can I'll, I'll also probably start including them with like anyone who purchases cards from the Nerdvana store, uh, that kind of stuff. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure exactly. I gave a bunch to my LGS. I've handed out a bunch to friends and family. Um, so, you know, they're actually really nice. They're actually really nice pens too. Like they're not like super super nice, but like the um the grip on them is nice. It's nice and rubber with a little bit of plastic in between. And then the uh they write pretty well. Let's see. Okay, they don't write very well on this apparently. Yeah, it's not bad. This is glossy, so it's causing the pen some grief, I guess. But, like, you get the idea. I don't have any paper kicking around. Otherwise, I would write on that. I have no regular paper kicking around. 
You like the new mechanics that they've introduced in Dominaria? Sweet, sweet. Um, all right, so I don't know where Matthew is, um, but I got to get started here because I have another stream coming up at 7 o'clock uh, over on Twitch where I'll be playing some video games, most likely. So um, let's get in. Uh, Carl, we'll open up your bundle first, I guess, since you're here. And uh, I don't know. But anyway, let's get right into it. All right, Carl, we'll open up this one. This one will be for you, all right? And then we'll open up Matthew's after if he shows up. Okay? All right, let's get in. So this is for Carl, Mr. Carl Elwood in chat there. He's one of my patrons. Thank you so much, Carl. Um, he is subbed at my patron at my bundle level, so he gets a whole bundle every month along with a grab bag. So... Generally speaking, I will only ship out anything of note out of the uncommon slot, as well as all the rares and the foils. Um, just because if I ship out more than that, it ends up being like some crazy amount of money um, to mail it out. So, uh, Carl, just make sure you tell me if there's anything specific in there that you want. I think you gave me a list. You were saying like zombies, uh, goblins, that kind of stuff. Um, so... We'll make sure that you get all that stuff that's on your list. I'll probably do that after the stream. So if you see anything now while I'm while I'm streaming that you want me to put, just mention it in chat. I'll see it. I'll pull it out to the side. Um, but afterwards, once the video's off and everything, I'll go through everything that you got in your bundle, and I'll make sure I pull out everything that you want uh, on the list that you gave me. Triumph of Gerard, Warcry Phoenix, and your first rare is a Steel Leaf Champion. This guy's actually pretty sweet. Uh, he's very, very big very big and mean in draft and in sealed and you got a foil in your first pack a get to journey mage i'll send you the um the legendaries too because the legendaries are sort of like the one of the new mechanics not really a new mechanic per se but like it's one of the newer things in this set is that you get a legendary in every pack so i'll make sure that you get the legendaries as well because they're all uncommon as well so let's let's make sure that we get that out to you as well that makes sense to me Knight of Grace, Memorial to War, and a Benelish Marshal. This guy's really good, too. Uh, basically like a glorious anthem on a stick. On a body, I should say. That makes more sense. Plus one, plus one for three, for three mana. And you got a Raph Capuchin Ship's Mage as your legendary creature. Grun is a really cool card, too. Like, when he attacks alone, he doubles his power and toughness. This card has been wrecking me up in Limited. I had I played against one guy the other day. He had two of these in his sealed pool, and I was like, really? Stupid Icy Manipulator. Ta he was tapping down my lands. That son of a... Son of a bee sting. Juggernaut. And your rare here is the Antiquities War. A, a very large saga. Lots of text on there. Look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal an artifact card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in, any, in a random order. Artifacts you control uh, become artifact creatures with base power and toughness of 5-5 five, five until end of turn. And you got a Tetsuko, which is, uh, he's actually really cool and limited as well. That's all, that's all right, Matthew. We're going to open up uh, Carl's bundle first, and then we'll open up yours right after this. You ordered some equipment to make your videos look less amateur. Definitely, you guys should go and toss Matthew a follow as well, a sub on, on YouTube. He's starting to put out his own content as well, and he has some old product that you guys are not going to want to miss out. In fact, you should check out the video he did just today where he opened up um, like a... Shadows of Innistrad gift box and got double rares in every pack. That's right, you heard me. Double rares in every pack. And not in the conventional sense. In Bolus's clutches. Hey, Car God, how's it going? Knight of Malice. And your rare is a Rite of Bells and Lock. There he is. This is a cool card, except that it can really bite you in the bottom if your opponent has a way to remove it. So you're like, you play it, you get some clerics. You get some more clerics, and then they destroy it, and you're like, no, now I have these 0-1 clerics that I have nothing to do with. So they just chump blockers for days then at that point, which is fine if, if your opponent is aggro, or not on not in the air. Let's put it that way. Nature's Spiral. Settle the score. 
And your rare here is a Josu Vest, Lich Knight. I actually managed to get this guy to go off in sealed. I made a whole bunch of 2-2s, two and then my opponent scooped, which appears to be the appropriate response to that happening. And you got a Yurgle. Yurg father. Wait, we have five rares. Did I put... I put it in here, didn't I? There it is. I was like, we have five rares and only four legendaries? How did this happen? Or they can fatal push it off the board. That is also a problem. That is true. Memorial to Genius. Sanctum Spirit. And your rare here is a Tempest Jin. A 0-4 flyer for 3, and it gets plus 1, plus 0 oh for each basic island you control. And you got Adeliz, the wizard. So far, all your legendary creatures have been different. Kind of neat. You found a guy here in Tucson on Craigslist selling Dragon's Maze boxes for 40 bucks. Man, $40? I would buy all of them. I'd buy all of them. $40 is definitely well worth it. Dragon's Maze may be a terrible set, but 40 bucks is definitely well worth. You can get you can get Shocklands in Dragon's Maze, right? Yeah, you can get Shocklands in those in those boxes. And your rare is a Urza's Ruinous Blast, which is your legendary. So you did get a legendary sorcery, but you get a legendary creature as well. So you got a legendary sorcery and a legendary creature. Now the, the legendary sorceries are weird because you can't you can't play them unless you control a legendary creature. So there is that. Nature's Spiral. Oh man, you guys haven't seen it yet. I think it comes out on Friday. So, um, I did a bend test on one of the cards from this set based on what I saw the professor tweeted about. And uh, you guys will see on Friday. It doesn't go well. Kamal's Druidic Vow as your rare. Another legendary sorcery. So you got two legendaries in this pack as well, because you got Tiana's Ship Caretaker as your actual legendary creature. Yeah, those Shocklands. Not bad. $15 bundle so far. Well, we don't have a dampen uh, Damping Sphere yet. Sarah Angel. Flame of Keld. Merfolk Trickster. And so you have a legendary creature... Oh, a foil swamp. Pretty nice. There you go. Congratulations, Carl. Very nice. Like the little, like, the volcanic volcanic void thing in the background looks amazing in foil. The camera does not do it justice, but, like, yeah, back there. Look at that thing. That looks so sweet. Oh, you got a Traxos. There he is. This guy's pretty sweet. 7-7 seven, seven that uh, doesn't untap, or he comes into play tapped and doesn't untap. But whenever you cast a historic spell, he untaps. So you're like, well, let me just play this little, like, one mana. One, one mana artifact. Or you play this Voltaic Servant, and you just untap him whenever you're ready. Every up, every end step on your turn. The Eldest Reborn. Seal Away is very good on common. Sorcerer's Wand, another legendary creature for you. Hey, Ariel, Knight of Windgrace. And there you go. Kind of a weird bundle. No mythic. No mythic in this bundle. But you did hit two foils. And you hit some pretty sweet legendary cards. So you'll get a nice smattering of the new, f the new uh, sort of like rules and things that they did. Um, the channel name Carl is just Matthew Nielsen. You can just go right to his, you can just click on his name in chat and you should be able to go to it, uh, his, his page. Uh, like a wizard control deck. Sure, absolutely, absolutely. What happened here? This is garbage. There's garbage here. That's what happened here. Where did I put the box? There it is. All right. So, Carl, I will go through all of this for you later, and we will I will pull out all of your sorcerers and things. But for now, you're getting all these legendary guys, these rares, and these foils. And I will pull out all the other things that you would like after and make sure that they get included. So there you go. It's all in this box. It's all going to go right in there. Where did I put the lid for this? There it is. Boom. 
All right, talk to you later, Kevin. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for hanging out. All right, Matthew, it's your turn. It's Matthew's turn. All right, Matthew. Also, hey, Jay Shing, how's it going? Open a mana vault out of five Kaladash blisters and open a box of Dominaria. The video wasn't recording, so you lost it all. Yeah, yeah, it's like the worst feeling. I know exactly what you're talking about. I mean, you guys have seen it. I recorded that box of Rivals of Ixalan, and I missed the first, like, third of the box before I realized it wasn't recording. That was fun. That was fun. Your first bundle of this set. Well, I'm glad that you're letting me open it for you. I appreciate it so much. You have no idea. All right. We got a red die there. Boom. I really wish that they would go back to the solid colors, to be honest. I don't really like the, uh, the marbled. I don't really like the marbled dice. The dice that are, like, multi multicolored. Like these ones. See, like, this one's red and blue, and this one's blue and white, and this one's green and blue. I would, I would really like them to go back to, like, the cons. Those kind of, like, pastel colored dice. Those dice were really nice and really easy to read. You need one more Karn for a playset, okay? Okay. You need a hist history of Benalia. You need two histories of Benalia. And you need a Bendelish Marshall. Okay. All right. All right, Car God. Enjoy school. We'll see you later. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you have a good day. Fungal Plots. Ooh, a Damping Sphere. There it is. Nice little uh, $4 uncommon. $5 uncommon? I don't even know. What's it sitting at these days? And a Mishra Self-Replicator. This card's also broken and limited. It just basically just makes tutus that then can just make more tutus. It's pretty crazy. And your uh, your legendary creature is Arvad, the Cursed. This guy's really good, too, because he makes legendary creatures bigger. He makes legendary creatures plus two plus two. And he's a 3-3 three, three for five with Death Touch and Lifelink, which is pretty sweet. All right. You got a cast down. This is a good instant. I'm going to put that in your pile here. Oh, geez. On Sarah's Wings is also just a super awesome enchantment. I don't know if you need any of these on Sarah's Wings. Let me know. I'll put it off to the side. Um, it's very good. If you want it included with your Damping Sphere and your cast down, let me know. I'll put it in there. I don't think it's worth anything monetary-wise, but it's a, just a sweet card. And your rare here is a Verdant Force and a Halar, the Fire Fletcher. Which appears to have a bit of a print type error. You've only gotten one Karn so far. I also have only gotten one Karn so far, but I've only opened one box so for myself. I've only opened one box for myself. Technically, I've opened three Karns, because I opened two for Untouchables, if you guys saw those videos. Sarah's Angel, or Sarah Angel, I should say. Spore Crown Thalid. And your rare is the Mending of Dominaria. There it is. And you got a foil rare in your bundle. Here it is. Tempest Jin. There you go. Foil rare for you. And a Danitha. What have I done here? You should be in this pile. My pile management is horrible. You got a foil and two normal. Okay, nice. Sentinel of the Pearl Trident. Diligent Excavator. And your rare is a Dread Shade. And you got a Shauna Sissy's Legacy. Okay, so, so far, one and a half bundles down. No Mythics. What's that all about? That's called Don't Buy Your Bundles from Mr. Bevers. That's what this means, right? Chainer's Torment. Sorcerer's Wand. And your rare is a Fall of the Thran. That, you wanted a White Saga, right? But that's not the one you were looking for. Hey, you got a foil land too. Look at that. It's a spicy little one. It looks super sweet too. There it is. And your uh, your legendary is a Slin Voda. Oh, we'll give you the uh, Jaya emblem. So something to note: if you, if you guys didn't watch or didn't see my videos where I opened a case for my LGS, um, we got to the end of the entire case. And we opened only three emblems. 
two Jaya emblems and one Teferi emblem. That's it. Out of an entire case of cards, only three emblems. So I don't know whether the emblems in this set are just really rare or what the deal is, but anyway, Memorial to Genius, Goblin Barrage, and Two-Headed Giant with the Tiana's Ship's Caretaker. You pulled a Foil Mox Amber? Man, I need to pull a Foil Mox Amber. I don't even care if it's for one of you guys. I just need to pull one so that I can be like, look at what I pulled. Look at this sweet nonsense. Wizard's Lightning. Settle the score, and Jaya's Immolating Inferno. Immolation. Commencing. And you got a Whisper, Blood Liturgist, as your legendary creature there. An Untamed Kavu. Another Damping Sphere. Wow, two in one bundle. That's pretty hot. And a Sylvan Awakening. You got another Arvad, too. Wow. Man, imagine opening two Arvads in a sealed pool and then having, like, no other good white or black legendary creatures. That would suck, wouldn't it? You'd be like, well, they pump each other. Yay. Five, five, death touch lifelinks for five mana. Yeah. But only if both are on the table. <laughs> Amaranth Wall, Sentinel of the Pearl Trident, Wild Onslaught, and speaking of legendary creatures, your rare is one, and it is, ooh, a mythic, Multani, Yavamaya's Avatar, this card is sweet, it's a 0-0 zero, zero with Reach and Trample for 6, and it says it gets plus 1, plus 1 for each land you control, and each land card in your graveyard, pay 2, return 2 lands you control to their owner's hand, return Multani from your graveyard to your hand. All right. When you get those sweet ad cards. Yeah, the ad cards are obviously completely better than getting emblems for your Planeswalkers. That's that's true. True, Bob. Chainer's Torment. Wild Onslaught. And, ooh, Board the Weatherlights. So you got another legendary creature here. It's Kazarov. Kazarov Sengir Pureblood. Well, we couldn't get you any of those cards you were looking for. Maybe, since you you and Carl are both here, you can talk about trading. Maybe there's something you want to trade. Who knows? It's really up to you guys. You let me know, though. Because Carl got one of those Ben Elish captains in his bundle. So there you go. Matthew, thank you so much for letting me open. Thank you so much for letting me open that for you. I appreciate it. I'm going to put all your cards here like so. I'm only going to give you the rares because you have so much other product. But you get the foils as well. Uh, of course. Foils, uncommons, worth something. And uh, let me know if there's anything else that you need out of it. Well, there you go, Carl. So, Carl, what Matthew's asking you is if you want this mythic... He'll trade you this mythic for the captain, the Banalish captain, which is the white. I'll show you. Where is it? This guy. So Matthew wants this guy from you, and he's willing to give you this guy your choice because you're the one who has the card he wants sure all right that's a done deal i'm gonna put them in their respective boxes then all right Done deal. There you go, guys. And this is the benefit to being a bundle patron for Mr. Bevers. If you're here at the same time as your other bundle friend, you guys can trade stuff that I open. And it just gets shipped out to you. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that cool? 
I gotta make sure I know which one's who's here. This is Matthews, okay. Alright, Matthews, yours is that one. So that way I know. Okay. Now, we only have, uh, we have a little bit of time here, so why don't we open some of these bad boys? I have no idea, like, I, I sort of know what, what these look like, but I've never opened any. So, let's open some, why not, right? And, uh, in case you're wondering, yes, I will probably do a giveaway for some of these. Because we're not going to open the whole box right now. But I am going to open some of them. It's super weird. <laughs> I watched it already, Matthew. You probably saw my comment. How does this open? Is this like glued? Oh, it's taped shut. What a weird thing to do. What a weird thing to do. And you can tell that Ultra Pro doesn't normally build boxes for this kind of thing. Like, the display box is, like, definitely not... Like, like they just... They have not built this properly. <laughs> right? Because it, it goes like this. It bends here, but then it's got this bend here, and it's... I don't know. This is weird. Does it spo is it supposed to go down here like this? Who knows? I feel like it's not. I don't even know what they've done here. I have no idea. I don't know what they've tried. They've they've tried to accomplish something here with this, but it does not. It just doesn't work. Is it supposed to be like this? Is it kind of supposed to be like this? I feel like it's supposed to look like this at the end of the day. Like, not not bent this way, obviously, but, like, it's supposed to be down and inside. I don't know. Weird. Anyway, if you guys don't know what these are, these are relic tokens. They're like a blind... It's like a blind box of tokens. Um, I actually don't even know how many are in here. Does it say on here somewhere how many are in here? 24 packs with three randomly inserted relic tokens. You'd do dirty things for a Tarmogoyf relic token? I think most people would, right? Isn't that the whole... That's the one that everyone's chasing out of these things, is the Tarmogoyf, right? Alright, so what, what do we... How do we... Oh... Weird. Okay. So there's like a little... Oh, okay. Weird. So they give you like a little thing in each of the... in, in each pack, I guess. That has like the check mark. Oh, and you can get it in regular or in foil. Oh, God. Oh, God. Jeebus. They, these are actually like really... Uh, they look to be really well made. And by that, I mean, like, they just feel really nice. And then they've got, like, the spinners down at the bottom. Yeah. All right. What's our first one? <laughs> Boo! Boo! <laughs> is that, is that, I don't understand. Is that, that's what I'm looking for out of this, isn't it? I don't understand. They funded a token set on Kickstarter, nice artwork, and bought a metal elf, angel, and goblin. Nice, Carl. That's pretty cool. Ooh, we got a foil soldier. Wow, the foil ones look crazy. Man. I don't understand. Like, I... Someone, someone explained to me, like... So, like, the way these work, from what I understand... Is if we take a look through here, we have this soldier, right? And then this thing fits right on here like this. It fits right into the into the card frame, right? But like it's got the same curvature of, of the frame, right? Of the token, which is nice. Except that now it says soldier soldier. And like uh
see if the box gets you all of the tokens at the end of stream. I'm not opening them all up. I'm not opening them all right now. But uh, I, I was actually only going to open like two or three packs to see if we could get the Tarmogoyf. But like, we got the Tarmogoyf on the first one. So I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I just stop. But Foil Soldier. Oh, a cat token. Sweet. I'll actually use this one. I don't have a deck that uses soldiers right now, so the soldier's not a big deal. And I don't play Tarmogoyf in anything. Um, so I don't particularly need him. So this is basically just for you to track... Um, ooh, it doesn't go... Pa oh, weird. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. So, so you can see this soldier can rotate all the way around, right? It can go to 0-0, zero, zero, right? And the cat can also rotate all the way around. Right? The Tarmogoyf can't. Oh, it can. It was just stuck. Okay. I was like... So it's got a little bit of a catch in it, which is unfortunate. But... So, you know, you can't always be perfect with, with that sort of stuff. I thought they had just left it as a zero one, and I was like, huh. So, I mean, like, I don't know. Like, what are these going for these days? Like, what is... Like, why is everyone chasing this? I mean, I know why everyone's chasing it, but, like... Is it valued at something? Like, is there a value to it? And like, what's the what's the deal between the foils versus the non foils? Are the fo are the foils more desirable than the non foils? I I don't know. I don't. I like I said, I know nothing about these really. I just saw them online and I was like, these look kind of cool. And they're like a blind box, so I wouldn't mind opening some. Um, I actually plan on like uh, using these as some sort of patron stuff. Because as you guys are well aware, any of you who are my patrons, you know that the patron pile of additional cards is getting fairly thin. So I picked these up because I thought, you know what, I can ship one of these in with a patron grab bag without the envelope getting much bigger. And therefore, it should still cost me about the same to ship it. Um, so um, I might open some of these and give them out to patrons. Um, just as additional sort of thank yous. Uh, for being such awesome people, right? Helping me keep going and all this stuff. So I'm going to open another one. I'm going to open one more because I have a little bit more time before I need to go. So let's open another. That'll put us to what? Two of our 24, so we have 22 left. So is the rare one on the back? Is that how this works? Or is it just random? I have no idea. So let's look at the first one. Okay, the first one's the foil in this pack. So the foil was in the middle in the last pack. We got a foil zombie. Do you get a foil in every pack? Or is it random whether you get foils or not? Because, like, if it's random whether you get foils or not, I've gotten two foils out of two packs. It seems pretty good. We got a second foil. So it must be random because we got a, now we've got a foil cat. I actually don't like... I actually don't like the foil cat over the regular cat because the colors are all sort of washed out. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like the foiling is almost too intense. So it's like you just like you. I mean, you can see it in the camera. You can't you can't even make out that there's buildings in the background of this. Right. Like. Like you can, if it's on a certain angle, you can see it, but it's just like it's it's crazy. Twelve to fifteen dollars on eBay foil is twenty two to twenty seven. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy considering it's just a token. And then we got a regular beast token. So there you go. Now also I'm assuming now I mean I'm guessing that since there's not really there's not really any instructions on how to use these, right? Like it's just here you go. Dual dials to track token power and toughness or other game mechanics, life total, loyalty, energy. Oh, okay. So, so it is to track power and toughness. Okay. Because I was curious if it was supposed to track... Oh, so there's a Gideon emblem or a Nicol Bolas emblem which tracks loyalty. I see what they're saying. Okay. Because I was curious if it was like the power and toughness were supposed to track... Like the dial was actually supposed to track how many of the tokens you had. They went overboard on the foiling, yeah. Yeah, it's what it seems like. The foils seem like really, really, really intense for no reason. They're just like, ah, it's foil! And you're like, ah, oh, God, it's foil. Yeah, okay, I get it, it's foil. Thank you, I guess. So we got three foils and we got three regular tokens out of two packs. That's not bad. And uh, and we hit the Tarmogoyf in the first... The very first token we looked at was Tarmogoyf. It's kind of funny. 
Um, so there you go. Um, I don't know what to say about that. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Um, thank you to my patrons, Carl and Matthew, for letting me open up their bundles live today on the stream. I hope you guys enjoyed it um, as much as I enjoyed opening them. Um, stay tuned for more of these uh, tokens being opened at some point, probably. I don't know when exactly, and I don't know if I'll be keeping them or whether I'll be doing a giveaway for them. So that's why you want to keep your eyes peeled. Who doesn't want to get a random pack of tokens, you know? And I'm not to say that you'll get all the tokens out of the pack, but maybe I'll give you one, and it'll be randomly selected from the three that are in there, right? It's like, in other words, like, I'll put them all face, like, I'll open up the pack, and I'll put them face down like I did, and I'll just kind of shuffle them. And then whoever wins the giveaway or whatever, right, I'll just... Shuffle them all around like this, and then be like, uh, this one. Hey, look, Tarmogoyf. There it is. So then I'd be like, yeah, give the Tarmogoyf away, right? So, um, that's probably what I'll end up doing. So take a look. Keep an eye, peel, eye out for that stuff. Because um, I've got 22 more packs of three tokens apiece, and I probably won't keep them all, but I'll keep some of them. But um, I won't keep all of them, that's for sure. Um, and who knows? Maybe you could be lucky enough to walk away with one or two of them. Who knows? Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Mr. Bevers. Don't forget I have a store, nerdvanastore.ca, for all your single needs, as well as a Patreon, where you can get things like discount codes and grab bags, bundles, that kind of stuff. Um, if you haven't checked out MTG Unpacked, check him out. He just opened up a grab bag over on his channel um, that was talking about my grab bags. So... You know, if you want to get an idea of what's in the grab bags, you can check out his video um, just recently. Also, congratulations to him on his 1,000 subs. He's well-deserving of that. And uh, we'll get there one day, too. We're almost there. Don't forget, everybody. May your pulls ever be better. <laughs>